What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Bug BMX YouTube channel. It is your boy Bug and boy oh boy do I have a ton of exciting awesome news for all of you today. Don't be camera shy, it's okay. There you go, don't be camera shy. Good boy, that's a good boy. So yeah, as mentioned, very exciting day. Gotta get on the shoes. Today, we are going to be going over the new rendering for the next SEMA project. I had so, so much fun building the last SEMA truck, AKA Mater. It was my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins. Um, it's actually behind me right here, but yeah, we lifted that thing way up, we stripped it all down, powder coated, sandblasted everything, had a full custom printed wrap, awesome truck. It was my first time going to SEMA, first time working with that many companies on a vehicle project and the memories I made, the things I've learned, it was just awesome and I cannot wait to do it again. However, we will be starting a little bit sooner. That's why I already have paid and received the new rendering. You know, SEMA's quite a ways away, but Everything happens so fast in life right now. I just want to get a nice good head start. Can we get a like down below for how clean and saucy Mater is looking right now? I spent all day yesterday cleaning and polishing on this truck. And it'll most likely with my luck rain tomorrow. However, let's enjoy it while it's clean. Since we will be discussing SEMA projects, renderings, and whatnot in today's video, at one point this truck was just a thought in my head that then turned into a rendering, and then we took the rendering and made it a reality. And this was such a fun project to do, and I thank all of you guys. I had so much feedback from everyone during this build series, and that's why I can't wait to do it again. But what is everyone's favorite feature 
on Mater? Is it the wheel and tire setup? Is it the powder coat colors, the size of lift, or the wrap? I have to say, my all time favorite thing about this truck is the wrap. It just really set it off nice and complements the wheels and the color of suspension so well. I also just received a new eight inch swanky steel exhaust tip. Um, I got a picture of it right here. Coolest exhaust tip ever. I just have not had a sec to put it on because I have to weld it onto this actual exhaust, which is nice because I don't have to worry about someone stealing it. Let's be honest, is there honestly a better sounding truck than the 6.7 Cummins? Just real quick, we cannot forget about the amazing companies that sponsor my channel. A huge thanks to today's sponsor, which is Roman. People go through many, many changes as we get older. For men, one of the less fortunate changes we go through is testosterone production begins to naturally decrease in the body. For most men, it starts to begin around the age of 30 and the testosterone production can decrease by one percent every year and that is why all of my friends over at roman have a testosterone supplement designed to help with that testosterone production they formulated their own supplements with transparency and scientifically backed ingredients this supplement by Roman is for anyone that wants to support their own body natural function. Getting started is simple. Just go to getroman.com slash bug and you can find everything on their website. And their supplement contains vitamin D3, zinc, magnesium, maca, and uh, this really big word on the screen. Let's, I'll just give it a shot at pronouncing it. Ashwagandha? They take all of that and put it in a very unique blend designed by doctors that you really can't get anywhere else. And to learn more about all of these ingredients, it's on their website. Just go to roman.com slash but you can read it all. But wait, it gets better. Roman is offering $15 off your first order. Yep, you heard that right. And we'll deliver your supplements free, two day shipping to your door. Just go to getroman.com slash bug, get $15 off your first order plus free two day shipping. That's getroman.com slash bug. <sighs> Let's finally talk about this rendering. Drum roll, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you all watching this video, all the amazing subscribers, supporters, and fans I have out there. I do this stuff because of you, and if it wasn't for you, I would not be able to do it. So again, thank you, but here is the SEMA 2020 rendering that will break the internet. It'll break necks. It'll cure Corona. Virus. Voila. That's right. You all joked for so, I don't know, maybe you weren't joking, but for the longest period of time, everyone was saying, bug, take your beetle to SEMA. Well, the beetle blew up. It's gone. Hey. I'm talking, don't interrupt me. The beetle blew up, it's gone. There. Shh. Stop. Stop. I'm, I'm filming a video here, dude. I'm just chill. It's okay. Anyways, where was I? Yeah. You all talked about me building a beetle, the one I had taking it to SEMA, but you know, it blew up. You all seen that if you didn't check it out later. The plan is to buy a new beetle, the newest body style they have, and lift that sucker to the moon. I think we should call it the moon buggy. I feel like that fits. That's why in the rendering here, I did all gold suspension underneath because if you pull up the like NASA moon buggies or anything like that, all the suspension on them have gold underneath. I don't know why that is, but they all do it and the wheels on them are typically gold. So 
on this rendering for the Beetle, I did gold 28 by 18 Fittipaldi wheels. Shout out Fittipaldi. And then I did the Bogger 28 42 inch tires. And you guys, this thing just looks like it's something that is built to crawl across the moon. And I, I love it. I will be having the homies over at Visual Lab do the wrap on it. They're actually the ones that did the wrap on the SEMA truck and they killed it. They did such an amazing job making this custom one of a kind print patina wrap. They did it all in house. They printed it, wrapped it, and not only did they do all that, they did it in two days. Literally the night they finished, I put it on a trailer and hauled this thing to SEMA. So those guys, you know, I have so much respect for them. They're like family to me and I would love to work with them on this beetle. And so I want to do like a metallic brushed silver and then kind of make it look all distressed and worn down like rocks and meteors and all sorts of stuff of just banged up against it and hit it throughout its time being on the moon. Kind of give it that look. And then as you can see, we have the NASA logo on the side, but instead of saying NASA, it says Bug BMX. I want to do at least a 10 inch lift. That's what I did on the current SEMA truck for the lift. And now it's going to be tricky because these beetles are all front wheel drive. We don't want to lift it front wheel drive. That would just That'd be whack. So what I'm thinking, and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. That's why I'm making this video. The comments are down below. My ears are always open. Like I got big ears, so I can hear everything you guys say. I'm thinking of getting a two-door Jeep Wrangler frame because they have a wheelbase of 98 to 104 inches to where the new Beetle has a wheelbase of 100 inches. So I can, you know, adjust if I need to. But I'm thinking of taking that Jeep frame, setting the shell of the Beetle on the frame, and then building all custom suspension, 10 inch lift, two big beefy axles underneath that frame. So I then you'd have your big lifted beetle, but with really good suspension that, you know, could handle abuse and jumping it and crawling it to where just a normal beetle suspension, that wouldn't really work. I'm thinking of fitting a 4BT Cummins in that beetle. Now I could either put it in the front or put it in the back of the beetle like they did in the old, old school beetles. I don't know though. I, th I think a 4BT would be pretty tricky to fit. It's the smallest Cummins I can get, but I think it's doable. I think it's doable, especially where we're building everything up from scratch and it's going to be 100% custom. I think we can come up with a way to fabricate that and fit a 4BT Cummins beetle. Like you guys, lifted beetle, Cummins swap, big wheels, big tires, all custom powder coat underneath show truck. Like this thing I feel would just literally break the internet. Is this something you guys really want to see? Like I said, I've paid a good chunk of cash for this rendering to be designed. So I'm not, I'm not messing around. Like if you guys really want me to take a beetle to SEMA and have it be just like this one, I will do it. Like I'm, I can go buy, I'll go buy the beetle tomorrow. Like you literally just tell me and I'll make it happen. I like to go against the curve and really stick outside of the box. And I feel like doing that beetle would be such a wow factor. It'd get more publicity, more growth for the channel, magazine coverage, stuff like that is good all around because it helps build my brand. And yeah, so I'm really thinking we should send it with the beetle, but you guys, this is a serious question. Let me know, do you really want me to build this beetle for SEMA? I, I want to do it. I think this is the coolest thing. And it's just a rendering, like the final product, like this truck I'm sitting in now, will always turn out cooler than the rendering does. The rendering just gives us an idea and a vision to see and mold. So, you guys, what do we do? What's everyone's thoughts and opinions on the theme of this beetle? Do you guys like the whole NASA moon buggy thing? Do you like the gold suspension, the wheel and tire size? Would you prefer smaller wheels and really beefy, meaty tires? Uh, add some custom roof racks, some lights. Like you guys, I want to build this Beetle on the channel with you. Kind of like what we did with this truck. I took a lot of your guys' suggestions on, hey, bug, use this color for your suspension. Use this wheel size. And I built the truck that you all wanted to see. So I want to do the same thing with the Beetle because then I feel like by the time we're done with the project, we all feel like we did something together on it. And I don't know, it kind of just brings everyone together and it gives you guys a chance to say like, hey, I suggested the bug. 
you should do that wheel size or this and that and you know I like for you guys to have say in my projects anyways everyone that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if all of you are just as stoked as I am for this next build SEMA project, go down below, show your support, and show that you're stoked by leaving a big juicy like on today's video. Also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button with post notifications on because I have some wild content coming your way. I've been working on designing and engineering some stuff this last week that let's just say mines are going to explode when this video drops. So yeah, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Other than that, I will see you all during that video. Your boy Bug is out, peace.